I'm about to interview Sid Haig, Captain Spaulding. This guy uh, has the unique capacity to make me tremble. This guy scares me and makes me nervous. Um, I mean, he's just a regular dude, but he plays a very scary character, so I want to go talk to him right now. Did, did you have any insecurities that maybe like or maybe the world don't know about, like uh, 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 insecurities um, that you struggled with throughout your life? When I was a kid, yeah, and I reached puberty, <laughs> and and I heard I, I had a circus going on inside my pants, but I couldn't get a date. I went through my entire school years without a date. Uh, and then I don't know what happened. I got on stage when I went to the Pasadena Playhouse, which was a, a, a theater arts college, okay? And the first time I got on stage and worked, all of a sudden, women started paying attention to me. I don't know why. I'm the same guy I always was. But for some reason, that part of me came out and cause some kind of attraction, I don't know, it's crazy. I just protected my art by doing it, okay? And that's the thing that keeps me healthy. When I'm working, I'm healthy. Right? People don't believe uh, that uh, I'm as old as I am, uh, only because it just, uh, the whole thing just keeps me energized and young and healthy and moving forward all the time. You know, you gotta take care of yourself. Here came Scott, comes Zane Cotter to f*** up my interview. Watch out. No, you put him up to that. She told me to do it. I know she did. She told me to do this interview. There's actually an escape room. I'm sorry, I had to do it. Yeah, yeah. It was fun bringing this nightmare to life. Okay, I mean, what, what, what better deal? You know, kick the shit out of people and get paid. Come on. There's a lot of good horror out there, and there's a lot of bad horror out there. Okay. Uh, just because you own a camera doesn't mean that you know how to make a movie. Okay. Um, but there's a lot of good stuff out there, and I'm happy to see it going. You know. Because it's a great genre. It's because we need to use our adrenal glands. Okay? It's like if you don't use it, you lose it. All right? That's why people go to horror films. That's why they go to uh, uh, wild roller coaster rides, stuff like that, to get the juices going. And so that's my job. You know, people give me money and say, go scare those people, and then I do. When I was a kid growing up, I used to spend my Saturdays at the theater, either watching musicals or horror films, one or the other. Lugosi, Karloff, Janie, all of that stuff, all the early, early stuff, um, and uh, all, the, all the musicals, you know? It's big into musicals. They say that life imitates art, okay? And in a way that's true because people are influenced by it in one way or another. It, uh, some things make you happy, some things make you sad, some things make you pissed off. Um, it, it generates emotion. And, uh, and that's, that's what art all, is all about, any, any form of art. Whatever you believe your creator was, the biggest compliment and homage that you could pay to that creator is to be a creator of good and beneficial things yourself. Stay focused in the positive and follow your dream. No matter where it takes you, no matter how hard things become, if you're passionate about something, you stay with it and it will be yours and your own.